We can beat these Saturday. Come on, lads, believe. Come on. So, we've had a couple of weeks off. Feels like it anyway, just less than 14 days. International break is over. Welcome to redarmy.tv. Looking ahead to Palace. Bit of a different show tonight because Joe Nicholson's with us. Joe, you looking forward to presenting, co presenting? Yeah, looking forward to it. Yeah, very much. No, not nervous? No, not at all. No, no. good man. And. Uh, Borough fan extraordinaire and man of a business course that I met him on not so long ago, so I know he's a good lad. Uh, Stephen Gosney, welcome. Hiya, thank you very uh, much for having me. Do you need me. the full Monty, Stephen, or can we call you Steve tonight? Uh, Stephen, Steve, Steve's, Steve's fine, Steve's, Steve's fine. fine. Yeah, Steve, yeah. Don't, don't have to be embarrassed. No. <laughs> Madam calls me David. She's the only one who does. Uh, well, seeing as you're presenting with us then, mate, let's, um, let's get underway. Uh, international break, go on, kick us off. Yeah, international break. Well, uh, was it a good thing? Was it a bad thing? Obviously, Borough... Uh, bringing some players back from injury, but did it stop uh, momentum? Stephen, what are your thoughts? International um, break. To be honest, I personally think it's a, a good thing. Um, it's allowed, obviously, we've got a lot of new players that we've brought in. It's allowed them time to gel, get a bit more training under the belt. Obviously, some of them are, some of them have been away on international duty, but uh, personally, I think it'll have it'll helped us in the helped us in the long run. To be honest, I don't think the break will particularly. Um, Break up momentum. We're in a good position, I think, for our first few games, so uh, we should kick on from there. What did you make of um, the players that played in the international break? Obviously, um, Stuani and Ramirez were away with Uruguay. Chambers played for the 21s. Yeah, um, I've seen um, Ramirez's tackle on Messi, which is uh, which was nice of him. So Tasty. just let, yeah, just letting Messi know he was there. But um, I mean, it's great for the players to to obviously get the international call-ups to be out there playing for the country, and you know it's. It's great for us as a club that these type of players are at our club as well. So, Joe, where do you stand on the international break? Because there's there's the other argument, which is, you know, we were unbeaten, we had a run going, momentum was there, but it stopped. Yeah, it's uh, obviously taking five points out of the first three games. We were on a bit of a roll, weren't we? But I think bringing the players back, I think obviously friends coming back from injury, um, Darun and Valde. So it's given us time to kind of reassess the good start to the season, and, and hopefully we can kick on. Um, after the break, but it is a bit short, isn't it? Only three games to then have a break, and then I think there's another one in a couple of weeks. So um, a bit frustrating, but I think it's good that we've got the, got the players back in. Normally, at this moment in time, I like to blame Seth Blatter. Yeah. But unfortunately, he's not there anymore, <laughs> so I can't blame the little Swiss man, can I? But, um, so, so I won't apportion any blame. But you, talk, you mentioned Stuani there, uh, and we've got to take credit with this because this, this, this was our doing. We are responsible. No, we're not. Uh, Stuani's one of the five goals that Sky has shortlisted for August uh, goal of the month. And 52% uh, he had, 52% share of the vote, nationally, maybe internationally. Um, and then we tweeted it. We said, come on, this was back on the 3rd of September. Come on, Borough fans. Come on, redarmy.tv watchers. Get voting. 62%. Brilliant. Fantastic. Good goal, though, wasn't it? Oh, I mean, what a great goal. And against the Mackhams as well, so... Makes it even that little bit sweeter, but um, what a strike! You know, you just you, you don't save those, and uh, it's one that you know he'll be remembered for for a long, long time as well. So. Dare I mention Uni? Am I allowed to mention Uni? You can mention Uni. Can yeah. I? This fella, big Borough fan, is at Sunderland University. What will you be saying to your friendly student Mackham types when uh, when you go up there? Bearing in mind that Stuani is bound to win goal of the month, and who was it scored against? Yeah, well, let's just say uh, I enjoyed. Um Talking to my friends about that one. Uh, <laughs> hopefully, we can do the double over them. Is it, is it March the next time we play them? I think so. Um, I've got a long time to kind of savour over that victory, haven't we? Yeah. Well, you particularly because you're going to yeah, be in a monster. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Big smile on your face when you get yeah, back. Yeah. I'll turn up in the borough shirt. Good man. Good man. We like that. Uh, you've got some tweets. Uh, yeah. So the first tweet comes from Alan Storkey. He says four four two on Saturday, maybe guys. Um, surely this is the ideal opportunity to introduce Rhodes and give Fisher a cameo in the Prem. What do you guys think up the borough? We've got a tweet from Katie which says, so pleased that Valdez is back fit. And we've also got a tweet, a retweet from Everything MFC. They've retweeted uh, Callum Chambers, um, the new signing on a loan from Arsenal. And he said, there's a buzz around the place and it's exciting to be here. Middlesbrough is a great club with a great history. So that's Chambers um, with that uh, retweeted by Everything MFC. Mm. Uh, Callum Chambers, 
good signing in your eyes? Um, yeah, he's you know he's a he's a young lad. Um, you know, in England international under twenty ones. Um, still got a lot to learn. A bit raw. Um, likes to tackle. I think nearly every game he played in the Arsenal, he got a yellow card. Um, so I think that's obviously a side he needs to work on. But he's he's great for cover, and uh, I th you know I think he could do well at a club like Middlesbrough. What do you think, Joe? Um, yeah, I think it's a very good sign. It's good that he's versatile as well. I mean, we saw in the Fulham game that you can lose two players in one position. We lost Friend and we lost Fabio straight away. And there was immediately a problem in that position. But with Chambers, a little bit similar to what we had in Callas last season, that he can play centre-half, he can play at right-back. So that's very promising and, and his versatility, I think, will be a good asset. Mm. Uh, one more tweet to finish on this, an interesting one, this. Uh, Rob Scott, I don't know whether he's trying to wind us all up or whether he's been serious. Only he can tell. Um, Kabaye Remy out for them. Valdez friend Darun to return. It's all set up for us. Borough nil, Palace won. Any chance we could fall flat on that big banana skin? Because they haven't got a point yet. Well, they haven't got a win yet, have they? No, I think it's, it's in the Premier League. It's every game's difficult. Um, you know, but we're at home. Like you say, we've, we've done well in our first few games. I think the Riverside uh, will be full again. Great atmosphere. And... Uh, Personally, I think we'll, I think we'll win it two 0 Yeah, good man. Is it we'll come the back. first game that we're kind of expected to win? Out of the three, the three so far that we've played. No, we're expected to win at Sunderland. <laughs> yeah, um, I mean, I think you know Stoke's a very difficult team, but I think a lot of people are optimistic. Your first home yeah. game just gone up, full crowd. You know, you you maybe's going to go on and, and win that. But um, you know, I think I think we look strong. Um, I think we're still pretty solid at the back. And um, we've, you know, we've got that extra firepower up front now. So, um, should we, I don't think we can say you can win any game um, yeah. this season apart from, like we've already mentioned, the Mackhams. But um, you know, it'll be a difficult game, but but one that I think we will win two 0 But we'll come back on to the uh, the Palace game uh, very shortly. But first, Joe, you've got the news. Yeah. So we start with some good news uh, on Red Army news with the words that all Borough fans want to hear, which is a fully fit squad. Well, almost anyway because Aitor Karanka will have Victor Valdez, George Friend and Martin Darun all available for Saturday's game against Palace, while Callum Chambers could make his debut. Chambers signed on a season-long loan from Arsenal last week and played 90 minutes for the England under-21s as they beat Norway by six goals to one. In other news, uh, Gaston Ramirez has come out on top on a poll from the Gazette which asked which signing would be the best, would prove the best. The Uruguayan pipped Alvaro Negredo to the top spot with 28.5%. Antonio Barragan came third, with Martin Darun coming fourth. Work is also ongoing to find a solution to the parking issue around the riverside. RedArmy.tv is leading the work um, to try and make life easier when fans attend games. Breakthrough news is expected ahead of the Spurs game. Also, don't forget, if you have any news at all, you can drop it into us here at RedArmy.tv. Uh, you can email us at studio studio at redarmy.tv or via social media at Borough Red Army. Cheers, Joe. Thanks for that. Um, it's not just us three. There's a team of thousands help uh, redarmy.tv get to air and, and talk Borough, uh, including Terry, by the way, who's been wandering around with his camera. We decided to do a fly on the wall type thing. That's what they call it in the TV industry. But we've got to be different on Red Army TV, so we've decided to call it. Are you ready for this? Uh, a boil on the arse. Look at redarmy.tv. This is what he saw. This is the building that the Red Army TV operate from. As you can see, Boho 5. And at the very top there, they have the offices of the Red Army TV. The set has been modified. Who have you got working in here? Mark and... Glenn. Glenn, yeah. yeah. Right, we're going to have a look now, see what Joe's up to. Joe, what are you doing? Uh, I'm just doing the Borough News at the moment because I'm present, helping present the show tonight. So um, a lot of good news at the moment with um, the news that Middlesbrough got a fully fit squad ahead of the Crystal Palace game, so looking good ahead of the weekend. But is this a regular feature? Uh, yeah, it is a regular feature, yeah, but we're going to be reading it out on tonight's show, so I'm just rounding that up uh, at the moment. OK, that's brilliant. Cheers. Can you explain your name and what you're doing here? Yeah, I'm Chris Joseph. I used to be chairman of the Supporters Club. Um, I'm, uh, I look after the legal side of things to make sure that we don't upset anybody. Right. And I believe the, this shirt here, the, uh, the Ali Brownie one, that's uh, 
one of your designs, is that yeah, right? I, I designed it, yeah, uh, when Ali died, it was um, just a tribute and it worked so well that, you know, hopefully it, um, it will raise a lot of money. Absolutely. Right, as the guys are getting ready there for the show tonight, let's go down and see how the website people are getting on. This is where they live, this is the website people, and let's go and find out. Hello Ian. Hello. Uh, well, what exactly are you doing Ian? Well, at the moment we're working on an app for a recruitment company, but typically we work on websites, we make software and mobile apps. And what do you do for the borough? For the, uh, sorry, the... The Red Army the, TV. The Red Army <laughs> TV, well... Change the name. <laughs> yeah, basically we set up a website for them, um, we manage that, we put the videos online, I do a little bit of blogging on there now and then after a match if I'm happy enough. Um, and we just help the other guys who put bits on, make sure it's all formatted properly and goes out well. That's brilliant. Okay, right, thank you, Ian. All right, cheers. cheers. This is where all the action takes place. And as you can see, Luke, yeah. what, what exactly are you doing? Uh, making biscuits, well, putting biscuits on the plate and making cups of tea. So this is where the real action happens? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> So we've had a couple of weeks off, feels like it anyway, just less than 14 days. International break is over, welcome to redarmy.tv, looking ahead to Palace. There you go, now you know all there is to know about redarmy.tv, well, most of it anyway. We kept out the juicy bits. Um, Steve McLaren uh, was our guest uh, last week, a uh, long interview with him, even appeared in the Gazette. Well done Vic. Um, we got a signed shirt, which I forgot to bring into the studio. That's embarrassing, isn't it? <laughs> um, but we did ask the question. We ran a competition, asked the question, name the five Borough Old Boys who've sat down and been interviewed by RedArmy.tv since we started, uh, what, three games from the end of last season. Um, and the five were Higgy, Gordon Jones, Slaven, uh, Oji, and Steve McLaren. And we've got to say congratulations. First out of the hat was George Bollins in Warwickshire. Good to have you with us, George. He did say and enjoys watching the show so we'll get that shirt and we'll also throw one of those Janini or, or, or CDs in as well we'll get that down to you in Warwickshire over the course of the next week congratulations on that right um, I think it's your turn co-presenter yeah well moving on to Crystal Palace then here's what you had to say in our fan rants 1-2-0 would do me a 1-0 at a, at, a, at a push would be absolutely fantastic uh, we should win it they haven't had a very good start this season they're below Sunderland in the league and we should win the game. So just before we uh, discuss Palace in more depth here, um, have a look at this quick uh, tweet that came in earlier from Peter Foster. Um, it's his son, Freddie. Freddie Foster. Uh, it says here, young Victor Fisher always dreamt he'd play for the Borough one day, like the look of it. There is a resemblance there. Maybe it's the Borough shirt and the blonde hair. But well done, Freddie. Nice to have you along. And uh, thanks for sending it in, Peter. OK, Palace. Well, moving on to Palace then. Um We've got a quick uh, league table that should be coming up now, showing Borough in 6th and Palace down in 17th. But uh, they've spent a lot of money, haven't they, Stephen? Uh, what are your thoughts ahead of the game against Palace? Yeah, uh, they've spent an awful lot of money. Um, you know, bought, bought some decent players. As, as you've said, you know, they'll be looking to uh, come to the Riverside to, to get a win, I'm sure. They certainly need it. Um, but as I say, I think we're strong defensively. Um, I think now in, in Negredo we've got someone who can score goals, you know, if given the chances. Um, we've got some Ramirez who's good at going forward, creating the pass, creating the cross. So um, I'd say I think, I think it'll be a difficult game, but, but one that I think we will win 2-0. Yeah, we've, we've had two away games um, back to back, but how different a test do you think this is going to be, being the home side, maybe being expected to win this one, whereas the last two games we've been solid away from home, um, kind of hit teams on the counter-attack. Do you think this will be a different test? Yeah, I think so. I think, um, you know, as Borough fans, we, we almost put quite a bit of pressure on the team at times. I think we, we always want to win. You know, we want to win every game and we almost expect sometimes to win every game. Um, being at home, certainly, like I say, there is that advantage. Um, you know, the, the fans are back. The fans are back in force now. I think they play a massive part getting behind the team. Um, you know, but I think if, if we do that, um, like I say, I think we, sh we should go on to, to win it, to be honest. Like you say, set up possibly differently to how we do away from home. Um, 
but you know you stick stick with what works i don't think we can really complain with the points we've got after the first few games so you know i think anyone would have taken that beforehand but um hopefully palace is a game that we can go on and get three points at home yeah and quickly on the new signings do you, th do you expect chambers and uh Traore to be thrown straight in um, I, I don't think so. I, I'm not sure about Traore going going straight in, de depending on how fit the defence is. Possibly Chambers. Um, I think Traore will possibly be given a, a bit of time. You know, maybe Fisher might come in um, in place of a Domer, and he might mix things up that way. But um, we'll wait and see. The big thing for me is what teams he's going to play. I mean, that, that's the point. Is he going to rest the guys who've been playing on international duty? If he does that, and if Gaston sits out, for example. My fear is we're not going to have that outball. But yeah. then again, we're at home. We're strong. We've got a good defence. We've got to rock the riverside in the Premier League, haven't we? So why don't we start against Palace? We've got to get, we've got to get those three points. Where do you think we're going to end up in this game? Um, well, uh, as, a, as it often is with Borough, I think it'll be a tight game. Um, probably not too many goals. The first goal possibly could decide it. It could be a one niller. Um, but I think at home, I think we should have the advantage. They've obviously spent a lot of money, I think... Um, but they're with, without Remy, without Kabai, um, they're not going to be at their strongest. So I think we have a good shot. Our defence is strong, so I think we could nick it. Nick it? So you think it's tight? Yeah. You think we're going to be tight? I think it'll be tight, but 2 0. I think we'll, we'll possibly score in the first half and then leave it late on in the second half and just nick that second to seal it. So a bit nervous, as it, as it always is, but I think we'll come out 2 0. All right, so stick your money on five. Right, that's about <laughs> it. George, you enjoy it? Yeah. Good luck. Really do it again for us? Yeah, sure. That's after you've come back from Sunderland with that beaming smile on your face. Yeah, yeah <laughs> good lad. Uh, and all the best of the uni. Uh, Stephen, thanks for joining us. Uh, thank you for having me, yeah. Great really enjoyed it. Excellent. That's it for this edition of RedArmy.tv. Don't forget, studio at RedArmy.tv if you want to get in touch with us by email, social media, at Borough Red Army. Simple as that. We'll catch you next week. See ya. Come on, boy, we can beat these Saturday. Come on, lads, believe. Come on. Come on.